Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. He's Mike Fenner and it's hard to breathe. It's hard to begin with basketball already. It's already upon us as a lot of openers taking place this weekend. Hard to believe but tip-off tournaments are here all across the area in both boys and girls basketball as we get it started at the Marsh Marsh Tip-Off Classic out in Mill Creek. Yeah, let's head out to Paul Gold Gymnasium for the sixth edition of the Round Ball Classic. We'll pick it up in the first half of play and for the Trojans, they are rewarded for getting on the floor for that loose ball and eventually it's Jake Banks cashing in for two, then it's Banks camping out in the corner. He gets the kick out, buries the three-pointer. At the other end of the floor, though, the Bengals would go back door. Nice cut, nice feed as Chris Smith lays it in for two. Back the other way we go. Curtis King with a great feed down low. As the Trojans go with a backdoor cut of their own, Luke Chamberlain for the deuce. Out of the inbounds play for the visitors. The Bengals would go inside. They missed the initial shot. They would stay with it and score. However, it's McDowell holding off Benedictine by the final of 54 to 47. Let's go out to West County to the Fairview tip-off tournament. Ryan Smocks, Harbor Creek Huskies taking on Tom Cobalt's Erie High Royals. Joella Carruthers with the bucket early for Erie down off the basket there. I should say off the window towards the basket. On the other end for Harbor Creek, Travis Krzyzewski drives in, goes baseline, picks up the bucket plus the foul for the Huskies. For Erie, Namari Bruton fires a pass up ahead of the pack. Craig Thompson finishes at the rim for the Royals there in transition. Huskies on the run now coming back. Jaden Rocco to Gavin Ennis. And in midair, able to finish this one down underneath. And Tajamir Carr with the finish and drive for Erie at the other end for the Royals. It's a close one tonight out of Fairview in game one of the doubleheader, but it's Harbor Creek topping Erie 56 to 50. Let's stay game two of the Fairview tip off tournament. Tigers hosting Seneca this evening. And a two man game early for the Tigers. Zach Scott back and forth on the pick and roll with Logan Frizeo, who takes the contact and finishes at the rim. Next time down, it's brother to brother Logan to Jeremy Frizeo, finishing in tra transition there with the uh, finger roll, and Tigers in control in the first tonight. James Sitter open on the triple try and knocks it down from the corner. On the other end, though, Seneca hanging tough here early. Jacob Young, after losing control initially, gets it back, puts it up for the finish inside. More from the Bobcats. Evan Moffitt recollects, fall away off the square. Good for the finish there. And finally, though, on, on the Fairview end, it's an and one in transition. Defense leads to O, and then Frizeo in transition here from Scott. Up and in, plus the foul. Fairview opens the year with a 46-23 win over Seneca at home. More boys basketball at Union City as they hosted Fort LaBeouf and Erie first. Christian as those two teams were paired up. Carson Pepe passes to Hunter Villa who passes then to Roman Dorler for the score. And then it's Dom Russo putting one up from three-point line, making it there as the Bison playing well early on. Then it's Villa with a quick pass to Dorler. Breaks through and puts this one in. Moments later, it's Russo with the rebound and the quick drive. Able to score again. However, it's Erie First Christian winning a close one. They go on to beat Fort LaBeouf 49-47. Another boys scores. Cathedral Prep knocking off Knock 48-31. And Mercier's Prep over Shenango 56-50. High school girls hoops. Doug Chusey and the Villa Maria Victors. I promise you. We'll get to those highlights in a moment, but we'll start back out at Fort LaBeouf. There we go. As a couple of youngsters enjoying this one. Villa going inside and out. And then this time they go back inside as Shaughnessy gets the nice floater to drop in. Then in transition, Jada McBride with the nice lay in there. She finished with 22 points in this one. Villa just keeps on running. It's Carissa Dunham spotting up, burying the three-pointer from the far wing. More from Villa Maria. Dunham stops and pops, knocks it down as they go on to beat Bishop Kearney, the final 72-54. to Game one now of the Fort LaBeouf Tournament. Erie High taking on Chautauqua Lake. And how about this? Early on, Roberts going to pass here to Kylie Shrimper for the quick pass to Kiara Somerville for the bucket down low. And then another one here coming in the scoring column for Erie. A nice falling shot going off the glass there. 
as that one goes down moments later. Uh, all the way in for two here. Just a one on three. No problem here as the Royals go on to uh, get this one done. Plenty of scoring here in the early going as the Royals take care of business. 53-20 over at Fort LaBeouf. Game two featuring the host team Bison taking on Hickory. Chloe Rossi gets her own rebound here on off the miss. Going to go up and score middle of the paint. That shot's good. One more time here coming down for Rossi uh, the other way. Another score, left-handed hook. This one goes in plus the foul. And a great reaction there from the bench. They love it. Moments later, Emily Samlock finding Montana Truett for the easy lay-in as well for the home team. Fort LaBeouf gets by Hickory tonight, 40-31. to 31. Out at Harbor Creek High School, Mark Corey loving the blazer. And his Huskies taking on Northeast. Harbor Creek leading by 14 to start the second half and adding to it. Riley Capsar converts on the three-pointer. Great extra effort by the home team to make that play happen. Then in transition, it's Brooke Prisbilla. Prisbilski. Her shot's off the mark, but there for the putback is Hannah Smith. Huskies playing some great defense as well. Prisbilski coming up with the steal. She's going to go coast to coast, laying it in easily. And it's Harbor Creek knocking off Northeast this evening, 49-34. to And game one of the Harbor Creek tip-off tournament between General McLean and Fairview earlier tonight. Off a first quarter miss here, Sarah Genuso gets it back, kicks it out. It's eventually going to get to the hands of Hope Garrity, and that's good news for Fairview. She cans the wing three there from the right side. And then off the full court pressure here from Fairview, Caroline Zent is the steal and goes in for the pick six off the full court pressure. Easy one for the Tigers. <laughs> McLean answering late in the half here. It's Bella Dibble for two underneath there for the Lady Lancers. And finally off a of Fairview miss. Garrity won't miss from the outside as she'll bomb away another one from deep. Off the bounce, this one good. It's Fairview topping McLean, 47-30 in girls basketball. Game two of the Northwestern girls basketball tip-off tournament. Lady Wildcats hosting Reynolds. First quarter, Northwestern, the basketball. Elbow range jump shot miss fires, but off the miss, it goes out to Taylor Stagel. And after it spits out, she knocks down the three from the wing. More from Stagel in the corner this time, now passing inside on off one dribble. Through the paint, there goes Nicole Rimmel with the left-handed sweeping layup. Raiders answer the wing three. Lauren Harold knocks it down from the right side there. Nylon. Wildcats come back, though, with a three from the corner here. It's Chloe Gazambiak with the on-fire effort early on. Northwestern goes on to get the win, 49-43 over Reynolds. 